Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on YouTube. My name is Mad Max, and today we're gonna talk about Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus uh, was uh, released back in the days in Japan as Wonder to Kyozu and was official translated to Wonder and the Colossus. It's an action adventure game that is pretty unique. Uh, the same is for Ico, it's from the same uh, developers as uh, Shadow of the Colossus. It's a unique game with some very, very nice animation, soundtrack, etc. in it. The game was released in North America and Japan in October 2005 and in February 2006 in the Europe. It was directed by Fumito Ueda and developed by uh, International Production Studio One, also known as Team Ico, the same developers for the game Ico. Shadow of the Colossus is one of the few I think hidden gems on the PlayStation 2. It's a very unique uh, game with some very unique uh, things in it. Um, one of the most unique things of Shadow of the Colossus is that you don't have uh, villains or something. In Shadow of the Colossus uh, you have to uh, walk uh, through an open world and your only villains are Colossi or uh, Colossus uh, for uh, European people. Um, the game, like I said, is, is pretty unique. Um, as you can see in the gameplay right now, uh, it's fantastic artwork. It, it looks brilliant and the game is brilliant. It has won uh, several uh, awards at uh, game shows. And there are two different versions of uh, Shadow of the Colossus. First we have the plastic uh, case uh, PAL version or NTSC version. And also we have the cardboard Shadow of the Colossus version. The cardboard uh, version um, has some couple extras in it. Uh, first the game of course and then a piece of artwork from the game uh, with four art cards in it. Also a making of documentary, a trailer for Ico and a gallery of concept art accessible from the game main menu. Um, Sony Computer Entertainment also re-released ICO in Paul uh, at the time of Shadow of the Colossus release both to promote the game through ICO's reputation and to allow players who did not buy ICO during its original limited release. There is uh, some uh, something to say about the game because uh, the official name of uh, the protagonist primarily, uh, primarily is Wanda but in North America it's called Wonder in the manual and in the Japanese version it's also Wonder. So this is a little mistake in the in the manual. The websites uh, IGN etc gave the game a 9.7 out of 10 and I think that's pretty okay. Like I said the game is it's it's fantastic. I think you already knew it. You already saw it before, but the game, the game itself, uh, the gameplay, and uh, also the soundtrack of the game is unique. The story of uh, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, like I said before, is uh, it's 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 different than most of the other games. Uh, there's only one game that looks like Shadow of the Colossus and that is Ico. Uh, the story of Shadow of the Colossus begins as Wonder enters the Forbidden Land, traveling across the Long Bridge at his entrance on his horse, Agro. According to Lord Emmon later in the game, prior to entering the Forbidden Land, Wonder had stolen an ancient sword, perhaps of Emmon's possession, which is the only weapon capable of slaying the Colossi of the Forbidden Land. So, you have to to fight against the Colossi as you can see right now in the gameplay and that's the only thing you have to do in the game. Uh, besides that it's also a puzzle because you have to uh, walk through the open world and you have to know where you uh, have to go in the game. The game is pretty big. Um, it's not like uh, a 10 hour game or something but it's also not like an Elder Scrolls Oblivion where you can play like 200 hours or something. It's a pretty a uh, big game like I said and it's also a pretty expensive game. Uh, the cardboard version is like uh, 30 to 40 bucks at this moment 
on eBay. Sometimes you find it cheaper, of course. But in mint condition, it's like 30 to 40 euros. The normal release is like uh, 15 bucks or something. So if you want to to buy this epic epic game on the PlayStation 2 and definitely a hidden gem, uh, buy it now because I think, especially the cardboard version, is gonna rise in price very soon. One for me, one of the most uh, unique games on the PlayStation 2 and also on the PlayStation 3 and 1 together is Shadow of the Colossus. I hope you guys uh, like liked this video. Uh, if you have a question or want to ask something, uh, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And till next time, guys. Till the next, let's talk about. It.